completing the square. Actually, we're writing, we're identifying the vertex and the axis symmetry complete, right? All right, by writing this in vertex form. Before, we first want to write this in standard form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this as negative x squared plus 2x plus 8. So that's in my standard form. However, one thing I said is we can only complete the square when a is equal to 1, positive 1. So I need to factor out a negative 1 here. I'm only going to factor out a negative 1 out of my first two terms. So it's a negative x squared minus 2x plus 8. Then I now need to create a perfect square trinomial. To do, so to do that, I take b divided by 2 and square it. You want to take the b of after you factored out the negative. So therefore, my b in this case is a negative 2 divided by 2 squared. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Right? Now you could add that 1 to both sides, or you could add and subtract it to the same side, which I'm going to do. So now I have a negative x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 8 minus 1. Okay. Also remember is this 1 is being multiplied by a negative by distributive property. So therefore, I need to multiply it by negative 1 as well. Now, by doing what it was in red, what I did was I created a perfect square trinomial. And that's what completing the square is so helpful for. I created a perfect square trinomial. Why are perfect square trinomials so important to create? Because they factor down to binomial squares, which allows us to write vertex form. So the binomial squared here is x minus 1 times x minus 1, which is x minus 1 squared. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, plus 8 is 9. Now it's in vertex form, where I know my vertex is, remember, hk. So it's going to be 1 comma 9. And my axis is x equals 8, so that's x equals 1. And there you go. Okay. Yes. 